Well, good evening, everyone. Getting ready for the 5 o'clock newscast. Had a little extra time tonight, so I figured I'd cut a quick weather extra for you here. Wasn't it a great weekend? We all needed a nice sunny weekend like that, I think. The mild air will stick around, but I'm tracking more clouds and some wet weather as well. A live look outside from our old Orchard Beach Pier Cam, where, of course, it's low tide. Those clouds have won out, of course. I took a little walk out on Pine Point this weekend, and there's a lot of beach erosion in that last storm system, so... Uh, Pretty impressive stuff as that major ocean storm is long gone at this point. But we do have some weather to talk about in the seven-day forecast. Hey, let's take a look at temps right now. It's going to be a little bit of a roller coaster of a ride. The mild air will be with us for Tuesday and Wednesday. Many towns will be around 50 degrees. Our wettest portion of this forecast will probably be tomorrow night. Uh, Wednesday will clear it out a little bit. Thursday, we cool it off a little bit. Notice the temperature staying below normal in the longer range. In fact, there was the chance for a little bit of snow on Saturday and a greater risk for a storm probably Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. So I do not think we're all finished with the snow, uh, at least for the season anyway. We'll look at that in a seven-day in a moment. Satellite radar is showcasing those clouds on the increase. Many towns saw a fair amount of sun today. There is a cold front to our west. Let's widen this out a little bit more. Notice all that rain that's moving through portions of the Ohio Valley. That will become our weather. Uh, as we head into tomorrow evening. So let's track this together. This is 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Now it's just a lot of clouds. That front is still to our west. Uh, we're going to see a little area of low pressure developing along the front. That may enhance some rainfall totals for tomorrow night. And it looks all rain at this point with temps warming into the 40s to near 50 degrees. We'll clear it out on Wednesday, or at least partial clearing. The wind will shift over to the west and northwest, and that should allow for drier air to move in. Uh, during the middle of the week. A closer inspection of Storm Tracker. Here we are at 7 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. Notice a lot of clouds. Temps starting in the 40s. This is lunchtime tomorrow. We'll introduce a few showers. Even the chance for a little drizzle. No organized rainfall until the evening, though. In fact, let's go through the evening. Now 5, 6 o'clock. We're seeing some steady rain move in. These temps may be a little bit too generous, but it is possible that many towns touch the upper 40s to near 50 uh, tomorrow. And again on Wednesday. The front moves through, and 7 o'clock Wednesday, we're already seeing some sun make an appearance. Temps uh, starting in the 30s and 40s. Afternoon highs will be in the 40s and lower 50s. will be a little bit breezy on Wednesday. Now, the longer-range forecast, let's take a look at that in the 7-day here. Again, some rain moves in probably late Tuesday, Tuesday night. There's the chance for some showers of drizzle during the course of the day. We get into some clearing on Wednesday, and upper air disturbance will bring a few more clouds on Thursday. Friday looks okay, but look at the temperatures. They take a little bit of a nosedive. Highs will be in the 30s, overnight lows in the teens and 20s. Now, Saturday's a little bit of a question mark. There is a little uh, clipper system that may bring a period of snow, so some light accumulations are possible that day. We'll watch that for you. The next storm of significance will come uh, in the extended forecast, probably Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, and uh, based on some of the forecast modeling I'm seeing tonight, we could be in for more snow. So we'll keep you updated as we get closer. Notice your inland forecast. If anything, well, the temps are a little bit cooler, particularly for overnight lows there for late week and into the weekend. So those of you looking for a nice uh, warm uh, stretch here, well, we have it for the next few days, but in the longer range forecast, looks like winter is going to make a return. That's the way things look tonight. I'll have another update on News 13, live at 5, 5.30, and News 13 at 6, and a late night update on News 13 at 11 as well. Have a nice night.